I'm Kate Kelton. You're watching The New You. Not only are you an actress, you are an artist that has pieces here tonight. Tell me about how your work got involved, you know, how you got involved with the gallery and how your work came to be featured here. Ah, sure thing. I met uh, the Art on Scene folks actually because Ilya got through to my manager. It's a brilliant idea to sort of marry the acting world and the art world, right? And especially for me because I'm an actor who paints. So I'm I'm part of this family like Val Kilmer and, and Billy Zane and, and God, there's so many of them right now that I didn't even realize really that we're painting as well as acting. But I think there's, you know, a lot of downtime and a lot of off hours. So I've actually been painting since I was two. That was my first love. But um, but this is my first show with Art on Scene. Congratulations. Now tell me about the work you have, you're have. you showing here today. Yeah, sure. I did these five pieces, and they're um, my friend Sandy Duarte. She's a Dora Moore Award-winning actress in Canada. Uh, the two of us basically got together for this photo shoot where I had set up my camera with a uh, 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 instant sports speed shutter, and it just kept taking pictures and pictures automatically. <laughs> we are sort of making out and like doing all sorts of things that actresses will do when left to their own devices on a balcony. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And he's got Andrew. Yeah, and then it just became this series of paintings. I just picked my favorites. And I love it. That is so great. And she's here with you tonight? Yeah, that's right. She was walking around here somewhere. We'll have to catch her. Super fun. Now we focus a lot on health at New You. Do you have any health advice that you would give young people, younger fans? You know the craziest thing that I actually started doing last year, and this is kind of a typical actor move because I'm not in a day job scenario, but I set an alarm for my bedtime. I set a 10 p.m. alarm, and for the first couple months, I just ignored it. I was like, yeah, you're funny, Kate. I'm not going to sleep. But like 1037, I remember reading that for your hormones, 1037, if you fall asleep by then, it's the best for your for your sleep and your hormones and regulating your system. So slowly over the months, I just started to listen. Like I'd hear the chime and I'd start to go brush my teeth, wash my face, get ready for bed. And then I'd just be tired. And now it's actually really changed my life. I feel like it actually made a huge difference. Yeah. And your overall health and everything. Regulating your sleep while sleep is so important. It's, it's, it's hard in LA too. I, I feel like, do you, do you agree that there's the second wind that you get after midnight? And I think it's because that's when the cars come off the road and the air clears and every creative person I know is like wide awake. Right, exactly. <laughs> that's why you have to be asleep by 1037. <laughs> that's right. I like that. Now, you have great skin. Tell me. I don't know. <laughs> Not today. Do you think that it's more your skin care or is it genetics? Oh, you know, I'm fighting genetics, actually. Both my parents have horrible adult acne, so I've basically been on a lot of dermatological, like, topical drugs for most of my life. And I just actually had to switch over to all the American stuff because my Canadian stuff, it's illegal to ship meds down. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I'm breaking out now, but makeup, makeup. <laughs> well, and ha now have you heard of, like, customized skincare based on your DNA? Because, like, now there's, like, DNA t tests you can get, and they'll come customize your skincare products. I need to get that. <laughs> I need to get that, absolutely. That's so brilliant. There's so many medical breakthroughs. I know. Wow, I love that. I love that.